Hi, welcome back to Functions Part 2. In this lesson, what I want to do is show you the five ways that the SAT generally uh, plots or graphs a function on the xy plane, where the x is the horizontal axis and the y is the vertical axis. Remember that a function is where we have x as the input or the domain and y as the output or the range. The first type of function is a linear function where f of x is simply equal to a line such as mx plus b. A line is just that, a line on a graph. It looks like this. If f of x is directly proportional to x, the one thing you must remember is that in directly proportional, the line must pass through the origin. The second type of graph on the SAT for a function is the quadratic function that graphs as a parabola, where f of x is equal to x squared, with some modifications of uh, coefficients a, b, and c, where ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And remember, a parabola looks like that. That's the quadratic graph of a function. We'll talk about the translations of a parabola in a separate lesson. The third way, it comes up rarely, but it's on here, and you might as well know it, is the graph of f of x, where x is raised to some power that is odd, 3, 5, or 7. It's typically 3. And when f of x is raised to the third power, it resembles a parabola, but it goes over this way. So when f of x is equal to x raised to some <laughs> variable, variable, raised to some exponent that's odd and greater than or equal to 3. This is the shape of the graph. The next type is a curve that may or may not have any relation to anything that's normal or identifiable. And it just looks like this. that can have a curve in any way where there might be a local maximum and a local minimum. And this type of curve you typically evaluate for translations where they would give something like f of x is the blue curve and g of x is the green curve where we have to translate and move the graph over to the right and down. That will be on the translation. Lastly is the combination. The combination is an inequality where we have f of x plotted out, excuse me, not an inequality, it's some range for uh, x where there's a bunch of curves or lines put together that have no rhyme or reason and typically you have to evaluate the uh, values on the graph itself and so we've seen things like this or combinations of line segments. Almost always in these combination forms is the lines, are the line segments plotted on top of a grid. And as we go over what I call ticks and grids, I'll show you exactly how to solve this problem when we have different line segments. And that's functions of x, lesson number two.